Okay, I'm gonna try this again. For some reason, it keeps cutting me off. I'm gonna do the trombone part for the beginning band lesson that I attempted to do, but it cut me off before I got to trombone. So if you play one of the other instruments, go watch the other video. This is just for trombones. Trombones, we're looking at 53 and 54 today. 53 is a duet. There are two lines, line A and line B. Line A, have, and notice there are two A's and two B's because the song has got two lines in it. So remember that if you're doing A, do both A's. Then when you learn B, do both B's. Notice that we have dynamics we need to watch out for. We are starting on a mezzo forte, and then down in measure four, we get a decrescendo, which means to get softer, down to piano. And then on the second line A, it starts with mezzo forte again. And then we get a crescendo up to forte. And then after the rest, we go back to mezzo forte. And then we finish with a decrescendo down to piano. So watch for those dynamics. On line B, it's exactly the same except for measure 12. Measure 12 has an extra little decrescendo where line A has a rest. So those are the only changes. So let's see if I can get through this video without it cutting me off. Here is the first line. This is line A of 53. <laughs> So that's line A. Awesome. Now, um, let's do line B. It's the harmony. It's a little bit different than A. It goes along with it, but it's not exactly the same. Here is uh, line B. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> for that almost last E flat didn't quite come out correctly because I had it in the wrong place. All right, so we got through those two. Yay, it's not cutting me off this time. Let's look at 54. 54 is a favorite of our band kids. It is Frere Jaca. You probably have seen or heard the song or sang the song either in French or in English. Frere Jaca, Frere Jaca. It's that song. Okay, so... Um, this one's in 2-4, two, two beats per measure, two beats per measure, and we have eighth notes in this one, okay? Now look at measure 9 and measure 11. You're going to have to spend some time on those eighth notes. Remember those are the ones that are connected together? Each one of these is worth a half a beat each instead of a beat like a quarter note. So just remember that. Put a little extra time into those two measures. Got it? Now, later on, when we go back to school, we can play this as a round. Where everybody keeps playing around and around and around. It's really fun. So learn it now so we can do that later. Um, dynamics. We start with mezzo forte. See that? Mezzo forte is what we start with, and it stays that way almost all the way to the end, except for the last four measures they want us to play forte. So ramp it up for the last four measures. And it's got a repeat sign, which means we have to do it twice. Got it? Here is Frere Jaca. Here we go, trombones. <laughs> Again, 
messes up the eighth notes once in a while. So just keep working on that and you'll be fine. It just takes a little extra time to get those quick eighth notes in measure nine and 11. So I'm sorry that they cut you guys off, Mr. Trombone, Mr. and Mrs. Trombone players, but there's your own special video. Um, I will see you all next week. Take care.